Hey guys, and welcome back to GCC. I'm Damon, and today I want to talk about home networking over your local area network. Uh, so recently I built my home feeder PC that I uh, have my Plex server running on. It's got um, a couple of big hard drives with all my content, my, my media content in there. And uh, since uh, Windows 10 version 1803, Windows has removed the home group. And that was previously how I had uh, been accessing my other computers over the network and, you know, accessing folders and documents and that stuff. And that's how I had planned on, on transferring files to my home theater PC initially. When I built it, I, uh, found out that they removed that functionality and I didn't know how to, uh, access those, those drives, uh, on the other computers anymore. And I, I've had a lot of problems since then trying to make my computers discoverable and actually have them show up in my network uh, folder, network tab, whatever. So right now, if you go here, you can see that they are showing up and that's pretty rare. That's the first time it's ever happened for me. I'm not even kidding. Like these just are not there on any other computer. And I have gone through many, many different uh, steps to try and make them show up right here in this computer's tab, but they don't. So let's go over to my other computer this is my home theater PC. I just remote it in. And so if I go, oops, if I go to my network on this computer, you can see there is no computers section here. Even after it does its refresh there, there, the other computers are not showing up, even though they're discoverable. Uh, and so that's been a huge pain to ask me. What I found though, is that if you just go to shortcut and type in uh, forward slash forward slash the name of your computer, the one that you want to access um, and finish the shortcut, you now have <laughs> access to the computer as if it was just in that network tab. So if I open it, you can see I've got stuff in here so I can access my uh, users and go to my desktop and whatever other stuff I've got there. I can access my hard drives because I, I added those and that's pretty handy. Uh, and I'll, I'll quickly show you how to do this. Let me go back to my other computer. Um, and there we go. Okay. So what you have to do to do that. So after you have made it your shortcut, right? What you do is you go to, uh, your, on the, on the computer that you want to share. So with the hard drives that you want to share, you go to the hard drives, right click them and select give access to you go to advanced sharing. So under the sharing tab, click on advanced sharing. And you can see right now I have selected share this folder. Uh, if I didn't, uh, yes. Okay. So, uh, now that I've removed that, let me just kind of show you what it looks like. So go back over here. There is now there is no two terabyte tower drive visible anymore. So let's go back over here. Ta-da! Go to my two terabyte drive, right click, give access to advanced sharing, advanced sharing, share this folder and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it two terabyte uh, tower cause it's on my, my big tower computer, my gaming PC, uh, share it. And then under permissions, you have to go in here and uh, allow full control to all the, to everyone, the, these users here, apply. Okay. Apply. Okay. And you can close out of that and close out of this. So I'm going to remote it back in by the computer. And if I go to my tower, you can see now both hard drives are visible and ready to go. So, uh, what does that mean for me? Well, now I can, uh, access media that's on my, the computer. I can edit it. I can drag and drop, uh, videos that I rip uh, onto my home theater PC uh, without having to put it on an external hard drive and, you know, plug it in and drag and drop there. So let me go back to this computer and let's pull up. There we go. Make MKV. You can see here, I've got ghost and shell put in right now. Uh, so let me just kind of show you how to do this. So typically you, you can set like a default folder and make an MKV and it'll put it wherever you want. You can set the output folder and if you go to, let's say that like network stuff isn't showing up, right? You can go to your desktop and access the shortcut that you just made and then put it in whatever drive you want or whatever folder you want. So my videos folder is in my four terabyte drive anyways. 
uh, and you can put it here. So let's say oh, I want to put it here and you can just rip straight, straight to it, which is really, really handy. I, do, I no longer even have to save it locally first on my gaming PC with, with my Blu-ray drive. Uh, I don't have to rip it locally and then share it afterwards. I can just rip it straight to my home theater PC from my gaming PC, which is perfect. That's probably very simple to most of you people uh, who have more hands-on, I guess, with uh, home, home networking and, and uh, you know, stuff like that. But I, I recently just built my home theater PC, and then I just bought a uh, gigabit switch. So I've got full 400 down and 15 up speeds. Uh, and so now when I transfer from um, my gaming PC to my home theater PC, uh, it's faster actually than if I put it on a hard drive and then walked across the room, plugged it in, uh, through that method, through the external hard drive, I was getting about 85 megabytes per second transfer speeds. And, uh, over this, obviously depending on the hard drive and whether you're reading or writing from an SSD, um, going from hard drive to hard drive, I'm sitting about 120, 115 right now from my Seagate to Seagate drive over there. So that's awesome. That's, uh, it's not just more convenient. It's, it's faster. So that's all I, that's all I can really ask for, you know? So, um, thanks for watching. It's probably a dumbass video for you guys that know what you're doing, but I don't, I'm just trying to figure this out and figure out how to do it, uh, the most efficient way for me, uh, that doesn't involve jumping through a bunch of hoops. So, uh, thanks for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.